hello friends you are welcome to my channel you are highly welcome thank you for tuning in to my channel the lord almighty bless you greatly in the mighty name of jesus the word of god to you briefly so stay tuned to listen to the word of god the lord almighty will bless you in the name of jesus let us worship god almighty god that is your name you will never share your glory with anyone you will never share your glory with anybody almighty god that is your name almighty god that is your name you will never share your glory with anyone you will never share your glory with anybody almighty god that is your name father in the mighty name of jesus O oh Lord, everlasting God, we worship your name, we exalt your name. We thank you for counting us amongst the living. We thank you for your love upon our lives. May your name alone be highly exalted in the name of Jesus. We thank you for the battles we are fighting on for us on daily basis. May your name alone be highly exalted in the name of Jesus. O oh Lord, we commit to oh Lord the program today into your hands, O oh Lord. Come and take absolute control in the name of Jesus. O oh Lord, speak through me. Reveal the mystery of your word to us in the, in the way we understand in the mighty name of jesus oh lord as many that are listening to me through this channel baba we pray that you will heal them you will deliver them you will save them in the mighty name of jesus your word let it bring life to lives in the mighty name of jesus let it bring hope to lives in the mighty name of jesus let it bring deliverance salvation to lives in the mighty name of jesus we give you all the glory as we look unto you this year we shall not be put to shame in the name of jesus we give you all the glory and adoration in jesus mighty name we pray amen today i'll be sharing with you topic look and live the topic today is look and live and our test is taken from the book of number numbers 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 21 from verse 4 to 9 numbers 21 from verse 4 to 9 i read and the journey from mount all by the way of the red sea to compass the land of edom and the soul of the people was much discouraged because of the way and the people make and the people speak against god and against moses wherefore have ye brought us up out of egypt to die in the wilderness for there is no bread neither is there any water and our soul and our soul loud then this uh, light bread and the Lord sent a fairy serpent among the people, and they, and they bite the people and make and much people of Israel died. I take verse 6 again. And the Lord sent a fairy serpent among the people and bite the people, and much people of Israel died. Therefore the people came to Moses and said, We have seen for we have spoken against the Lord and against thee. Pray unto the Lord that he take away the serpent from us. And Moses prayed for the people. And the Lord said unto Moses, Make thee a fairy serpent, a fairy serpent, and set it upon the pole, and it shall come to pass that everyone that is beaten, that is beaten, when he looketh upon it shall live 
And Moses made a, made a serpent of a brass and put it upon a pole. And it came to pass that if, this, if, if a serpent had beaten anyone, has beaten anyone, has beaten anyone, when he behold the serpent of the brass, he lives. This is the story of the children of Israel. When they were journeying through the Red Sea to Edom, they begin to murmur in the wilderness. They begin to murmur. They begin to complain. Speak against God. Speak against Moses that is leading them. They complain about the, the, the manners. They complain about waters. They complain, about, they complain for so many things. And they begin to murmur against Moses. Is there no land in Egypt that will bury us? Why do you have to bring us to the wilderness here for us to die? They begin to complain and they begin to murmur. And the, God heard their complaint and murmuring and he was angry with them. And he sent a poisonous serpent to their camp. And he began to bite them. Anyone the serpent bites, the person will die. When they discover that many are dying, they cry back to Moses. Moses, pray. Talk to you, to your God. Uh, 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 we are sorry. We are sorry that we are, we are we are we are murmured against you. We are murmured against God. Beg God that we are sorry that our, our children are dying. We are dying. Then Moses have to cry unto God. And God told Moses that he should make it a serpent made of brass and hang and hang it on the pole. Moses obeyed. He made the serpent and he hung it on the pole. Anyone that was beaten of the serpent will look at the, 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 the snake that Moses made with brass and the person will live and will not die. That is where the topic is coming from, look and live. For them to live at that particular time, they have to, they have to, for them to live at that particular time, they have to look at the, the snake made with brass and they will live. So today, I'm encouraging every one of you to look unto Jesus. We are not looking on, unto something this day, but Jesus has come to die for us. If you look unto the Jesus, you will be saved. Look and live. So they have to look at the serpents for them to live. The same serpent that, 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 that beaten them they have to look at the serpent made with brass for them to live. Anyone that disobeyed that period and say, ah, why should I look at this at the serpent Moses made? The person will definitely die. So the, the word of God is coming from this channel to you that the solution to this stormy season, to these plagues, to this in this trying time, is for every one of us to look unto Jesus. That is why we we'll look at Hebrew 12 verse 2. Hebrew 12 verse 2 says, Look unto Jesus. Look unto Jesus. Hebrew 12, 12 verse 2. Looking unto Jesus, the author. Looking unto Jesus. Unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. Who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. Now we are not looking unto something, we are looking unto Jesus Christ. Jesus came to die for you and for you and I. We have to look unto him for him to save us from this plagues for him to save us from this plague we have to look unto jesus we have to look unto jesus to deliver us from this famine we have to look unto jesus to deliver us from every trouble we are passing through we have to look unto jesus to deliver us from every pain from every sorrow we have to look unto jesus i don't know the challenging you are passing through now but i'm telling you this moment that look unto jesus look unto jesus he will deliver you. Look unto Jesus. He will save you. Look unto Jesus. He is the only solution to your life this period. The children of Israel, they murmured. They complained. 
they are full of complaining they are full of murmuring if you are here if you are watching me and you have the habit of complaining and murmuring even unto your god you are not satisfied with anything you, god has done for you you complain you murmur i want you to desist from that stop complaining look unto jesus look unto jesus and he will deliver you the children of israel in the midst of the wandering in the wilderness their journey they complain that they are even tired of the manners that god is sending to them they complain of water they complain virtually for everything and they are forgotten how they, they were held captive in egypt how they become bored men bored women they were they were being slaves in the hand of a, a pharaoh they are forgotten how god delivered them and they passed through the red sea they begin to murmur we should not forget all that the lord has done for you the fact that you, you woke up this morning is, is, is an indication that God has a purpose for your life. Every day you wake up, glorify the name of the Lord. Thank Him for His faithfulness. Thank Him for His love upon your life. He will save you in the mighty name of Jesus. Looking unto Jesus. When you look unto Jesus, He will meet your needs. Stop looking unto men. The, the word of the Lord says, Woe is, a man, is any man that look anyone that look unto man man cannot help you your uncle cannot help you your brother cannot help you the only one that can help you is jesus when you put your trust in man man can disappoint you but i i promise you that god will never disappoint you in as much as you surrender your life to him he will never disappoint you don't put your your trust on man put your trust and your hope on god and he will deliver you in the mighty name of Jesus. Don't complain. In prayer, in supplication, let your request be made known to God. In prayer, in supplication, let your request be known to God. Be thankful. Be thankful. Thank God that you are alive. Thank God that the Lord spared you from January. From January to this period we are in, now many have died. The fact that you are alive that means that God has purpose for your life. Let's desist from complaining, from murmuring. God hated. That, was, that is why he was angry and he said serpent to begin to bite the children of Israel. The Lord Almighty, as we look unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, he will save you in this stormy season, season in the mighty name of Jesus. And if you are here, you have not yet given your life to Jesus Christ, I want you to seize this opportunity and surrender your life to Jesus Christ. Without wasting much of your time, I want you to bow down your head, begin to confess your sin, begin to confess your sin, tell him you are sorry, you are coming back home, begin to confess, and the Lord Almighty is faithful and just to forgive you your sin. Open your mouth and begin to confess your sin. Let him you are coming back home, that he would let him save you from all your sin. I shall write your name into the book of life. With mouth, our confession is being made. Open your mouth and begin to confess your sin. Begin to thank him for saving your life, for keeping you from January to this time. That you are alive, you are watching this program on, on now. It's, the, it's an indication that God still loves you and He wants you to turn away from your evil ways. I want you to open your mouth and begin to confess your sin. Tell Him to purge you from every unrighteousness. Tell Him to forgive you all your sins. That I should have mercy on you and write your name in the book of life. I pray for you as many that are giving their life to Jesus Christ in this moment. I pray that the Lord Almighty save your soul and deliver you in the mighty name of Jesus. As you have made up your mind to serve this Jesus, as you have made up your mind to look unto Jesus, He will save and deliver you in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, your, your determination to serve God, I pray that the Lord Almighty will uphold you to the end in the name of Jesus. I pray the Lord Almighty will write your name into the book of life and deliver you from evil in the name of Jesus and exempt you from this plague in the mighty name of Jesus. I cover your spirit, soul, and body with the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Thank you so much for giving your life to Jesus Christ. Congratulations to you. Life, you can ever make in life. The Lord Almighty bless you greatly for tuning in. And as many that have watched this program, the topic is look and live. You have to look unto Jesus. 
look unto him and you will live in the mighty name of jesus the lord almighty will deliver every one of us from evil in the mighty name of jesus as many that are passing through challenges this period the lord almighty will intervene in the name of jesus anywhere in your life that you need help the lord almighty will arise for you in the name of jesus as you look unto jesus the lord will make a way for you when there seems to be no way in the name of jesus the peace of god will be upon your life the lord almighty will give you rest in the mighty name of jesus rest from struggling rest from storm in the mighty name of jesus it is well with your spirit soul and body in jesus mighty name we pray amen thank you so much for tuning in bless you greatly in the mighty name of jesus thank you this season i want to encourage every one of you be prayerful be prayerful the time we are in now is not the time for us to be careless with our spiritual life it's time for us to pray more it's the time for us to study the word of god more as you do that the lord almighty bless you greatly in the mighty name of jesus thank you so much bye thank you